Okay, it looks like today I'm working with a older PC, 1986. This is the Amstrad PC 1512. Um, it is modified a little bit keyboard mouse comes with gem sought up uh, setup discs the original gem setup discs uh, the motherboard went inside here it's kind of a neat little system I'll probably merge another video to this one showing it complete uh, when I purchased it uh, it wouldn't boot. Yeah, I mean it would. Uh, you get a system screen come up. Please wait, screen, and that was it. And uh, it's got a mini scribe, 30 meg hard drive on, 33 meg I think. Really haven't checked the model number on it yet, because in my haste to film this video, I didn't really do f extreme research on it. It was modified slightly too. I don't know if you can see this original owner bent the original mounting hardware. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but if you look at this, it's originally the Amstrad PC 1512 was supposed to be just two five and a quarter inch floppy disks. I believe they're both low density. But then you notice this right here? This kind of say it a little this was cut out. So this was altered afterwards. And you can see we kind of bent it a little bit, but I mean honestly they did a really good job because you can't tell when it was all together it looked really clean. So basically what we have here is a A drive, which is here, and then the B drive, and then the hard drive. The unit originally, like I said, just came with two five and a quarter floppies. This is a very interesting system. It was it was designed and manufactured in the UK. The power supply is inside the monitor. This is a CGA 16 color monitor. The power supply runs down into here. Wow. Oh. So it's a little warm. I've been testing it. So you have these two connectors that plug into the main board. Uh, they have they upgraded it to 640K uh, and as you can see they added the floppy drive, I mean the hard drive controller as well as the mini scribe hard drive. The mouse connects into here, the keyboard is here. Um, what was happening was that uh, in shipment I guess or who knows when this adapter had fallen off and was just laying down so um, it wasn't triggering the first call out to the floppy drive so it, it was only seeing the second so you were get, you're getting two lights coming on here and staying on as well as this hard drive had um, frozen, locked up so I put a little graphite spray in the bearing turned it around a little bit and now and it turned it on and it's really interesting because the power switch is in the back of the monitor and it's kind of funny that this system I have it all apart this is the top of the case that right there is the clock battery and then this cutout is where that monitor sits right in so you can kind of get an idea of what the low profile is. It's a very low profile system. It's running an 8088 CPU. I don't know, 8086, sorry. 8086 CPU and it looks like there's a socket for a math code. All right, so let's turn it on, see what we get. I'm gonna see right there. Please wait. Oh, beautiful sound of the hard drive. These old MFMs crack me up.
And it looks like we've got yeah error for the battery. And it looks like the hard drive is functioning. What are we going to get? What secrets does this hard drive entail? I always love exploring old MFMs. Oh, it looks like we got a DOS shell. Looks like a DOS 5. DOS 5 shell. Mouse works. Seems to track pretty easy. Yeah, DOS 5. There we have MS DOS 5. Okay, well, looks like she's fully functional, which is awesome. You notice I say awesome a lot? In watching my video playbacks, I notice that that uh, seems to be my favorite word. I find computers, to, old vintage computers, to be awesome. And then there's the original MSTRAD discs, there's four of them, which is cool because I'm going to install them. I want this machine to be original. Oh, that's cool. I remember the mini scribe. When you don't use it after a few seconds, the light goes red. Um, but if you, yeah, as soon as you do something to search the hard drive, the light goes green and becomes active again. Okay. This is my Amstrad PC512. Pretty cool little unit from UK. Competed with a lot of machines. 1986, I believe, is when this came out. I will add the other video when it's all complete and buttoned up. Thanks for watching.